Hello there, it's time for another one. Uh, I'm in my foot doubling now, excuse the washing and drying behind me. But uh, it's not a jarring place, you know. You see this, right? I brought this uh, remote for the next five, which I'm recording this on. Um, absolutely fucking useless. Batteries went flat on it. Because uh, the idea was to do a click and it would auto focus and do the video. So I like had auto focus in the chair, but I didn't focus. Uh, yeah, so. I've been in Dublin now, what, three weeks, next week's the fourth week, um, working at Screen Scene, uh, I'm, I am the lighter, I'll be doing the lighting on all the shots. Um, I'm also going to be doing, of course, some distance, if it involves sculpting and stuff, then there's a good chance it's going through me. Um, I can't see anything else, uh, nor will I, because I'll get shot. <laughs> but um, I've actually been enjoying Dublin a lot. Um, I bet you're all thinking it's great if the camera's not shaking around or something. Great in it, revolution. Um, I've been with it, I've got a sort of logo, uh, the lower deck, um, which I'll probably never get. Now, the first, oh, this is my, I moved into this place on Friday morning, Sunday now. About what time is it? It is half past one in the afternoon. Uh, I'm on recording some stuff for DVD for CMI. Um, so you'll see, you know, that engine course when I finished it. It won't be going well, I'll do a few while I'm over here because it keeps my sanity. Um, also, uh, the first three weeks I was in different B&Bs and digs and stuff, moving around every four days, it's a pain in the ass. So it's nice to be able to sit down in my own place, you know. Um, I've got my version of interior decor, which involves moving the entire place around, so that, that table there where all the laptop and the same TV is, there's another table there with junk. <laughs> I've got a Vita Vendetta movie poster there and a large set of plans, poster size, was on poster, on the dark over there. And that's my vision to decor because I, was, I can't stand it in a black wall. Um, Dublin is a nice place and there's things you've got to get used to, you know, like when you move anywhere. In fact, I'm actually thinking of starting a, um, a blog, um, not about the art, but basically. Call, uh, call the man in apartment 12 because that's what I have in mind in apartment 12. Which is almost like the skylight at the very top of the building. In fact, I might like pull the flame here, it might even light this a bit better. Like that. There you go, see? All nice and lit. Um, basically, covering for people that uh, in some point in the future will be coming to Dublin, you know, working for the screen scene or the effects house. Um, just things about the place and the little things that catch you out and uh, how's the best, what's the best way to find a flat and uh, where are the nice pubs, where it's nice to get your dinner, you know, and uh, funny things that happen, you know, and some of the crazy things that happen uh, outside of work. So I'm, I'm, there's a good chance I'm going to start doing that tonight and probably the first three weeks moving around. Um, and it'll be a proper... Um, not a review of the place, it, but if I, there's little digs I've been in that I didn't like, and I'll tell you about those, so that you know that if, there's a good chance if you come to screen scene at any point, that the first place I went to is where you end up, right? Which is um, the Lisa Bridge uh, guest house, right? And there's a sort of a, a capture wall there for anybody who smokes, which I'll tell you about, which is scary as shit. Um, basically, it had a lovely patio door, I'm not sure if I did a video from there or not. Um, so one night time I was smoking that and you went up to smoke in a hotel but you could smoke on this little patio which is basically part of the car park, right? And uh, as some people know I have an absolute amazing phobia when it crawls. And one of the biggest ones are horse lice and earwigs, right? That's it, you will not see me in the same time zone. So I was standing there one night and uh, I put the light on just next inside where the uh, patio doors were and there were thousands of horse lice and I was smoking a cigarette and I was absolutely terrified, I don't mind admitting that. Uh, second place, again, I was smoking a of a bloody patio, guess what? There was loads, loads of ivy around this sort of, you know, garden, yard thing and uh, again, so it's let on and it's like horse lice center. It was absolutely horrific. So uh, I was glad to get in the last place which is guest house, not as proper guest house, it was basically a room in somebody's house. Um, and that was great, right? Um, 
then I've had this place. Now, if you come to uh, Dublin, you'll probably end up going to Stevens Green area. That's where the shopping centre is. And actually, it's great. If I want to get a story, there's a little tiny place. Uh, I've took put some photographs of it. If I've got a chance and I can find them and get some bloody editing software on the laptop, I'll edit them in at this point. But basically, there's a lovely place that if you stand, you can have your sony with one of the nicest vistas I've ever seen. Um, to be quite honest, it's lovely. So uh, then you've got the whole thing of if you move into a flat, even if it's furnished like this, there's things you've got to pick up, right? So I've got to pick up, then yesterday I was an absolute fucking idiot, last two years. I had to pick up a quilt, uh, sheets, four pillows, because I like four pillows, right? Pillow cases, um, a kettle, pans, six cups, that would be by six for some strange fucking reason. And then also a nice fork spoon, well, one knife, one fork, one spoon, one bowl. And a giant box of conflict, and that's what I have at the moment. I've also picked up an old iPhone 3GS because my son dropped my old uh, ASL good 10 minutes before I was about to do both of the flight when I was over at the other weekend. Another weekend coming, uh, I'm back home again just from the late on Friday night till I leave on a Sunday night. Right? Um, I know there's a few lads I know coming over. Uh, while I'm over here, it's actually makes you really popular in Dublin because everybody wants to visit because it's a great place. And if you, if you ever drank, drank a pint of Guinness anywhere but Ireland, I would say you are missing out, right? Because back home, the Guinness bears more resemblance. And the reason why I was talking with some of the old Irish guys is it doesn't travel very well. Guinness loses its taste after it travels a certain distance in time. So obviously it's fresh here, right? It tastes bloody lovely. And it's actually, if you were going to the uh, lower deck, um, so it's not a tourist pub, uh, it will cost you four euros twenty cents. Now the exchange rate with the pound is crap at the moment uh, and is somewhat different to when I agreed to the gig but it needs most of the level drives and all that. Now I will have trouble getting internet in here. Uh, I'm, more, I'm using a little dongle from O2. Now that's five gig a month, which is not a lot, but I hate that use that in a thick couple of hours normally passing these giant mud fires around. Um, there is down there, I'm not going to think probably up for it, where a cable box for cable and that, but the trouble is if you're not even on a 12 month contract it can be nearly impossible to get so you're just using the dongle which is probably what I'll end up doing so I won't be passing my big files around unless I'm at work um, but yeah, there you go so you're probably going to want to have a couple of USB sticks that I have over there an external drive, you know, just so you can get things backwards and forwards now I'm looking at screens so and they do not mind me Doing stuff like that in this video, which I'll do tomorrow, next Monday. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's just some of the little captures. Also, if like me, you have psoriasis and we're too bloody lazy to carry the special shampoo I have to have, right? It's a psoriasis bit. Um, normally, it costs, if you create it back home here, it costs me 20 euros. Um, all because I was too lazy to put it in a bag before I went to the airport. Um, so yeah, um, I'm trying to think what else, um, you're going to want to bring towels and things like that, you know what I mean, now what I'm going to get doing is the wife is going to send some stuff to this flat by mail, because it's actually bloody easier and quicker, that means I can just get on the plane back home for a weekend, but just want to stand up in and maybe, you know, and have a little laptop bag in the other room, but I use a camera bag now, because it looks like a fucking handbag, and if you want to, you know I hate the standard camera bags. Because back home you do not walk around with somebody who looks at a handbag if you're a bloke, right? You'll, you'll get fucking dying, you know what I mean? But yeah, so there you go. Um, there's still things I've got to pick up, you know, um, but uh, we're doing fine. And actually the thing is as well, you'll notice when you first arrive and you're looking at the B&Bs, you spend a lot of time in the pub. Especially if you're a smoker, because you think, you know what, I need to smoke. And you think, you know, I might as well go to the pub. And I'll sit and read, right? And read the kindle in the pub. And you do that every night and it soon adds up. So the next two weeks for me, before the next period, is going to be a dodgy one because finance will ever send money back home and run the house back home, as well as set things up to run from here uh, as well. So it's, you've got to bear that in mind that you will have a chance to be skimped for the first few weeks, right, the first month. Um, you've got to be sort of canny with your money, don't go too mad with it. Now, I'm sort of pissed off I had to buy that. That, that the iPhone 3GS setting on because that was 200 euros, right? That I would rather have not spent, and um, I could have done with for the next fortnight. But 
I've got to have it to be able to do Skype with the wife and kids. Because right? if I do it on that, we did a test last night, and it would eat that dongle up like that in a, you know, in a night. So um, we did a test and it worked out. Um, doing voice isn't too bad. Right? You can get a real doing voice on Skype um, for about half an hour or so a night. Um, you don't want to be doing more than five minutes of time on video and five gig dongle. Right? So there you go. Right? I'm going to turn this off now because I'm hoping that it hasn't reached the end of the video limit and someone decides not going to do it. But um, over that, that's sort of like look at the little view I'm doing. In fact, what I'm going to do first before I turn this off is I'm going to show you the view out of my window. Right? I think it's fucking awesome. Here we go. Right. There you go. This is the view out of my little upstairs window, right at the very top of the building. That down there is a milk piece. And you see in the distance there's mountains and all sorts of stuff. If I do this, right, you can see over there in the distance, it's close than it looks actually, with this being 80 mil lens. Uh, that's, I think that's some bloody theatre or something. And it looks really nice when it's lit up on night time. There you go, back to wobbly vision. Awesome. That'll see you all next time. Bye bye.